So in the last video, we went through the steps of converting a folded sheet of acrylic into a flat pattern in a drawing ready for the laser cutter. Unfortunately, the program that we use to run the laser cutter, called Coral Draw, cannot read this style of file. Um, but I can convert it into a file that it can read. So to do this, I'm going to go to Save, and I'm going to click on the arrow next to it, and I'm going to go to Save As. Now you can see here that um, it's called Acrylic Photo Frame, just like the title, and it's saved as a drawing. And this code here means it's a solid works drawing. I'm just going to click on this downward bar here, and I'm going to click on DXF. Okay, now this is a digital drawing format, and you can see I've pre-saved mine here, and it's got a symbol with an E on it. That's something to watch for later on. Um, so in this case, all I'm going to do is just resave this image. So I'm just going to click on there, keep the title the same, and I'm going to press save. It will tell me that it already exists, but I will just overwrite it. Okay. Now I can open up Coral Draw. I've pinned Coral Draw to my to my bar here, but you will just need to look for that symbol on your desktop. Ignore this bit. You don't need to sign up to Coral Draw. And then the program opens. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the welcome screen down. There's no need for that. And I'm just going to go to File, New. And I'm going to make sure that the size of my paper is A3 and that my orientation is landscape. Um, this matches the drawing that I've just produced on SolidWorks. Now I'm going to go to File. And instead of open, which I would normally do to open a file, I am going to go to import, which is just a little bit further down. I can now go into my documents and I can search for the, for the file. Now, I said earlier that the E on the symbol was very important. You can see I've got two file names that are exactly the same acrylic photo frame and acrylic photo frame yep they are separated by the pictures this one is my solid works drawing and it is actually identified there and this one is my dxf file so that little e there just helps me to find that a little bit quicker okay now once i've highlighted that i can click on import and then it's going to ask me for some more information Okay, um, the main piece of information is that I was measuring my drawing in millimeters. That's a metric measurement system. So I must make sure that that matches. And I want to bring my drawing through at exactly the same size. So you can see here that my original size was 420.08 420 by 299.30. The new size is exactly the same, okay. Um, I can click on OK. It has got a little bit of an issue with the text, but that's fine because I'm actually going to delete the text. OK, and now it's just going to ask me where I want to put the photo. Now I'm just going to put it up in the top corner. I'm just going to do a single click. Don't be tempted to drag and drop a box. Um, if I just import again, if I just open up the image one more time, I'll click on OK, and now I'll just try and drop it in here, but this time I'll drop it into a box. You can see that my entire the entire image has been fit into that box, which means this is now no longer to scale. I'm going to find it too difficult to get that to the right scale. So if you accidentally draw a box, delete what you've just done and repeat the process with a single click. Okay. Now, there's a lot of stuff in this drawing that I don't actually need for the laser cutter. So I'm going to use the select tool. I'm just going to draw a box around anything I don't want to keep. And I'm just going to press delete on the, on the bar. Yeah. Do the same thing with the individual items I couldn't get in the box. And then I'm going to zoom in 
and I'm going to get rid of this text information here. Like I said before, um, the text information isn't important. Okay, and I've got um, just this border left. Now that this um, drawing is in is set up, I just need to be able to instruct the laser cutter to cut it. Now we use a red line for cutting. So I'm just gonna draw a box around all of the lines. I'm gonna hover over here and I'm gonna right click using the mouse. And you can see that the lines have been turned to red. We have also set the laser cutter so that it will only cut out a hairline. And if we have a look here, it is the thinnest line you can possibly get. Okay, this will mean that the laser cutter will only make one cut as opposed to, um, as opposed to several cuts. It will save time and it will also save the laser. I can now save this file. Um, as something suitable, I would probably call it cutting template. Okay, and save it. And that is ready to be transferred onto the laser cutter.